President Mike Pence was in Harrison County today to stump for West Virginia Attorney General Patrick Morrissey, who's up for election to the United States Senate. Our own Mark Curtis and Marissa Matola were there. They join us live now from Bridgeport. Good evening, Alex. That's right. We are live in Bridgeport, where Vice President Michael Pence just left the stage just moments ago. And Patrick Morrissey is still milling around the room here, shaking hands with some folks. But what a raucous night. This It's hard to believe this room is now empty. Just 30 minutes ago, there was 400 people very loud crammed into here. Absolutely. And a 400 people crowd. But there were people of ages from 18 all the way to 80s, large age demographic. Fascinating rally. I think the biggest, if I had some takeaways on issues that uh, the Vice President and Patrick Morrissey talked about, that really got the loudest uh, reaction from the crowd. One would be immigration reform, including building the wall on the U.S. southern border. The other cheers uh, were for the performance of the U.S. economy, lowest unemployment rate in, in decades, and uh, the, the economy coming back in West Virginia as well. A lot of cheers on both issues, and I think really those two things will become central issues in the 11th hour of this campaign. Absolutely, and Vice President Michael Penn said that whoever's going to win the election are the people who go out and vote. Each vote matters. Now, the polling in this race has been interesting. Interesting because uh, the composite of all the media and academic polls shows the Joe Manchin up by about 10 points, but uh, it's widely anticipated that West Virginia is under polled. It's hard to sample a state that's uh, uh, as diverse as we are uh, culturally and geographically, so that may not be very accurate. Patrick Morrissey says he has polls that show this race is a dead heat. Absolutely, and there were some common chants that we continue to hear over and over. Even Mike Pence joined in on Joe must go. That was another chant that was going over and over. And we should remind folks that early voting begins Wednesday the 24th through November 3rd. You don't have to wait Election Day uh, November 6th. Absolutely. And make sure to tune in to 12 News at 11. Mark Curtis will have a full recap of tonight's rally. Reporting live in Bridgeport, Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis and Marissa Matola. Back to you, Alex.